Okay, it's this old guy in the garage with a pit. And today I'm talking about the iStrong dual digital wireless camera system that I got from Amazon. Uh, it's actually a strong upgrade dual digital system with guidelines. And this is what it looks like. And I'm not going to do an open uh, opening of the box. I'm just going to show you what I got. This is the monitor, which is 7 inch. And I've got it, and you'll see the antenna on the back. And I can actually put another antenna, which I don't know what the proper name would be for it. Uh, but I have one of the cameras hooked up with it. And speaking of the cameras, you can see how rugged and heavy duty they are. And I've got, they've got, they've sent me two of them. Two of them come in a kit. One can be in the front and one can be in the back. And there's two of these antennas uh, to really extend the range. And they also give you a little shorter antenna here. RF antenna, I guess is what they, they call it. And while I'm in this box, I'll show you there's some connectors. And I'm not quite sure how this would work because this plugs in... Uh, kind of do hard to do this one hand, but it plugs in like that. And that'll go into any of these, that connector will go into any of these feed wires. And they, it came with three sets of feed wires with uh, open ends that you can connect anywhere. And the lighter adapter with a little switch on the bottom. But that'll go in the truck. And there's another pack of connectors that they've sent. These, I believe, are for mounting because they're self-tapping if you want to mount them inside your vehicle with screws. And then there's these little screws. There's two packs of them. There's a black set and this set. And being that there's four of those, uh, they would go right in here to hold the camera at whatever angle you want. And that's another reason for the screws is to attach your camera. So, you certainly have enough of everything you need. So, obviously, this, these screws here with the, with the lock washers are the ones that go into the camera. These guys here, they go into the side here. And if you look at this camera, uh, there's where the RF antenna goes. Either, either this style, and like I said, there's two of them. I left this one. And by the way, they're magnetic based. The, the base on them are magnet, so they'll stay in position wherever you put them. But you can put uh, the antenna, that antenna on there, or you can put this antenna on it. Now they give you sunscreen for the monitor. And there's, a, there's this style mount. And it allows you to turn the monitor up and down. And then there's this style mount that, and this is hard to do with one hand, but this fits right in the back like that. Let's see if we can see this again. See, that fits in the back like that. And then you can mount the, the, the uh, stand on the floor or on your dash or whatever. They also give you some double-sided stickers if you would like to st stick the base on. And the same thing for that if you want to stick it on. Now, and oh, yes, I forgot. The most important thing, they sent instructions. Thank you. So that's the dual camera outfit, and as I said, it's pretty rugged. And I have a very unique need for it that I'll go into in just One of the places I was thinking on mounting the monitor was down here on the floor. But I have a better idea, and that's to put it up here on my sun visor. And then I can just flip the sun visor down when I'm backing up. And usually I need that, uh, I don't need to be looking forward when I'm backing up. And I've got some straps I can use, but uh, they are sending me a, a suction mount so I can put this on the windshield. So I have the option of mounting this on the dash, on the floor, and up, he up here on uh, the sun visor. And I've got some straps that I can probably hook that with to mount this on the sun visor. So I'm kind of favoring the sun visor right now. 
and, uh, and then it'll be up out of my way and then I can flip it down when I need to need it so this may get the bow to where it goes and I can run the cord uh, I hate cords I hate cords on the dash so I've got to run the cord so that it's hidden somewhere the only problem I can see with this camera outfit is the, these cameras are so big and uh, I mean they're heavy duty is I don't know how I would permanently mount it on the back of my truck if I wanted it for a you know permanent backup system on there, a backup camera for the back of my for the back of my truck. Uh, but I want what I really want is for this camera to be mobile, so I can put it on different trailers, put them on the back of different trailers, whether it's my dump trailer if I need it, or uh, our big rollback trailer. So I can put a magnetic mount on the bottom of this, and I could stick it on the tailgate here, so it would look right down onto the trailer as I'm backing it up. So that's a thought. And I, I have done something similar to that before. And then I'll just hook this up to the wiring on the trailer hitch so that when I turn the lights on, the camera will come on. So that's the only slight disadvantage. But then again, I think it's that disadvantage is overridden by the fact that I want to take this camera and put it on different trailers and so on and so forth where the, the other camera is going to be mounted permanently on the back of my camper. Okay, I have a, a 35, 34, 32, somewhere in there, fifth wheel camper, and I back it up into this steel building. And I have two problems. That steel building absorbs any kind of Wi-Fi signal that would send up to my truck so I can see where to back this thing. And here I'll show you my other problem. Okay, here's my camper backed into the garage. This is how tight I have to back the left side of the camper as I'm, as I'm backing it into the garage. And I can show you back in here a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, I think as you can see back in here how tight it is. So I have a terrible need for a camera that'll work inside this garage and I've yet to have one any wireless that works. Okay, here's the right side of my camper and you can see how tight the awning is to the side of this little building that I have inside the big building. So I've never had any, as I said, I've never had any wireless cameras work in this garage. Okay, here's what I've got. This is the back right or the back left side of my camper as you're facing the back of the camper. And I have one camera, this is just temporary for a test. And I have the one camera on the extreme left hand side pointing straight down off the back of the camper so I can see when I'm backing in. And you can see how tight that is. And that's how tight it is looking up, up across the garage. Don't have a lot of room. The other camera is on the awning. And you can see how tight it is between the side of the garage and the awning so that's camera that camera there is really important and I'm using the bigger antenna for that one and I'm using the smaller antenna the smaller RF antenna for the back left one and it's the opposite I'm just doing this for a test okay there's my truck with the monitor inside and there's the building and the camper is way back in the building okay you can see the doors are closed that we have a picture Okay, we have a picture for the, okay, it's kind of fading in and out, but I can't believe that we even have a signal. And we don't have a, a signal on the left-hand camera, and that's the one that has a little antenna, but the right one is still working. And I've got the doors just barely open. But well, we're looking at a split screen right now. And this one here is the one that has the big antenna, and it's crystal clear. This one has the little antenna, and it's a little grainy, but it's also very, very dark back in that section of the garage. So it's probably working off of uh, the infrared signal, which is really impressive. I mean, again, I'm outside this garage, uh, probably, oh, a good 35 foot, and I could never get anything to work even inside the garage to send to the truck. So what I'm going to try now is pulling this truck up and see where, how far up I am before I lose the signal on any of these. 
Okay, if you look, I'm pulling up. I still have both both pictures. Now oh, this is unbelievable. I'm probably a hundred foot from that garage right now. Nope, I didn't lose it yet. Okay, I'm going to stop right here because this is this is insanity. I mean, this really is. And I want to show you how far I am from the garage. There's my truck, and there's the garage, way up there, with the two lights on, and I'm still getting the signal. Once again, once again, there's the signal. Okay, so summon up here, you can push the channel button, and you can have it be, uh, the, like in this case, it's, it's camera number one, which is the left-hand side. And again, that's an inf infrared picture that you're looking down on top of. You push it again, and that shows you the other camera, which is the one that's up on the awning. You push the menu button and you can pair it, uh, you can change your picture, you can flip flip this, like I have this flipped to normal mode and it's showing me exactly uh, what I want to see, I mean as far as left to right orientation. If you want to change to any of the different, you hit the up and down arrows right here and see that'll take you over to the record and it'll give you... Uh, It'll rewrite, and that's on, or you can format it. And it, by the way, this comes with a disc. This comes with a, uh, a sand disc in it, which I thought was pretty darn neat. Uh, the picture, you can change the brightness to contrast. Uh, the U and the vo and you can change the volume on on the camera. I can hear my wife back there screaming, "Stop! Stop! Stop!" Now I can play back uh, what I've recorded. And I think I have one there. Uh, let's see, go down to that one. Ooh, I got a bunch of them. Didn't even know I had them. Yep. That's one I did the other day. And again, that's with infrared. That's not, I mean, don't think the color isn't there. It's black in that garage. It's dark. Okay, so we can go back to menu. Uh, menu, menu, and then we can go down to system, and that you can set your time and date, whether it's English, uh, I'm not quite sure what this is, oh, automatic dim, oh, cool, and then I can also, whoops, keeps jumping off on me, go down to system again. And I can select it, and I can also turn the grid lines on. And let's try that. Okay. Whoops. Okay, now they're on. And there you go. Pick the other channel, and I think you'll get grid lines on. No, you'll just get them on the one. I guess you have to pick them if you want for camera one to have the grid lines. So that's just a... A brief summary of, of how all of this works, but I've got to tell you, the fact that it works inside that steel garage is just unbelievable. I cannot believe that it's doing that. That is just amazing to me. And there's your split screen again. So I am very, very happy with this. And and uh, I, I emailed the people that, uh, that manufactured this that I needed a windshield mount, and they're sending it to me free of charge. So they're really good people. They answered me very quickly. So they're very good people to work with.